Can gold finally target 2560? That's what we're talking about in today's video. I'll show you the key levels to watch and also some scenarios to keep an eye on and also the latest on the DXY as it struggles to hold above that December 2023 low. All right, guys, so for gold, we talked about this last weekend, but right now the market is holding above support, which comes in right around 2505. So for those of you who haven't seen this chart, it might look a little bit crazy. However, it is very um, easy to understand because we have the market back here breaking out above this larger channel. Okay, so back here, we had a breakout above these recent highs. So you can see these highs right back here. And this is a parallel channel off of these lows. So this is what gold had moved in for a very long time back here. We got the market pressuring resistance up here and we got the breakout on this candle. Okay, so simple enough, right? We then had a retest down here as new support. We also have a horizontal level based on these recent highs right here around 2475. Okay, so again, this was tested right here on this candle. Again, very simple stuff, right? Break above uh, resistance that flips to new support. Now, if we move in here, and in fact, before we get to that, let me show you too that this level up here, okay, this is what we talked about last weekend, where if you take a level off of these lows down here, and instead of drawing a simple trend line, you use a parallel channel, you can see that we do have a resistance level off of these two highs up here that comes in right up here around 2560. So that's kind of the area that I'm eyeing right now for gold as a potential target slash resistance that could come into play over the coming days. Now, whether or not gold can make it up there depends on two things, okay? First of all, you can see where the market so far is holding above this four-hour channel that we talked about last weekend, okay? So this is the level right here off of these recent lows, and you can see where, once again, it is being tested today, and so far it is holding. Now, the second factor, okay, so that's the first factor where gold has to hold above this area down here right around 2505 in order to uh, keep this area as a target right around 2560. Now, the second factor that's going to determine if gold can get up here is going to be this resistance area right across these recent highs. So right around 2527, okay? That's going to be key uh, resistance right now. So if we see a break above this area up here, then we're looking at a target up there in that 2560 area, which is a confluence of resistance. Now, keep in mind that we do have a few levels up here, okay? So we've got uh, this channel top up here, um, outlined by these two levels. We've also got this one right here, this channel up here that comes in quite a bit higher. We know that gold can be very volatile, especially when it gets to key areas like this. So my point here is be really careful if gold gets up here and you're trying to short right here from this exact level because we could see the market take out this area and then close back below, okay? But again, what's gonna be required here is first of all, the market needs to hold above 25, uh, 2505 and also get above 2527. Okay, so do those two things on the higher time frames. Let's say the four hour time frame at a minimum. And we are looking at a potential target up there around 2560, all the way up to about 2580. Now, the alternate scenario here would be if gold were to break back below these recent highs. Okay, so right around 2470 to 2480, all of these highs back through here, this is going to be a must hold for gold bulls along with the bottom of this channel right here around 2505. So if instead we see the market break down from this right around 2505, then we're looking at a potential retest down here between 2470, 2480. That is then a must hold for bulls. A close below that would also be bearish. So um, again, the market needs to hold above this area down here, okay, 2505, and also this area between 2470, 2480. As long as that's the case, we have an uptrend here and a potential target up there around 2560. Now, let's take a look at the DXY because that's also going to matter. Um, the dollar being very weak recently has helped gold rally off of these lows down here around 2380. So looking at the DXY, we have it testing that December 2023 low like we talked about over the weekend. Um, so far though, we are not seeing much strength here at all from the dollar based on this low back here. And like I mentioned over the weekend, just because the market is testing a significant low like this does not mean it is a buy. This does not mean that you flip bullish on the US dollar because, first of all, the market has clearly been very, very weak over the last few weeks. And furthermore, we have no confirmation, okay, that the trend has turned. In order to do that, the market, like I mentioned over the weekend, the DXY would really have to close back above this area up here right around 101.13. So these closing prices or this closing price back here, it would have to reclaim this area 
in order to expose these highs up here and potentially 102. So there is no clear signal yet that the DXY has changed its trend that we've seen here over the past few weeks. So just because, again, just because the market's coming into that December 2023 low does not mean that this is a long. We have to see the market um, put in a little bit more here, including a reclaim of 101.13. So we'll see if it can do that, you know, but this is obviously going to matter for gold because the DXY does tend to move inversely to gold. Um, and on the other hand, if we do get a sustained break below this December 2023 low, okay, so a sustained break below here on the higher time frames, that opens up the area around 99.5 to 99.6, which that would be bullish or likely be bullish for gold up there toward 2560. Okay, so definitely keep an eye on the US dollar as it relates to gold, because again, the two do tend to move inversely to one another. It's not perfect, um, but for the most part, they do move inversely. All right, so again, just kind of wrap up, guys. We've got 2505 support. We've got an uptrend here. Uh, so if you are trying to short gold, I would not be doing that right now, at least not without a break below 2505, but especially this area down here. Um, at the moment, in my opinion, dips are for buying, especially if we get a close a sustained break above these two recent highs up here, because again, that would open up that target around 2560 up toward about 2580. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Don't forget too, to join us in VIP, claim your 90% off lifetime access. See the link in the description of this video, or if you're on the website, click on that join a VIP link. That offer does end in a few days. Trade well out there, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.